All right, tribe, that's it for today's study group. We did it on Saturday instead of Sunday like we uh, normally do, uh, but it's all good because we still got to the group breaking down the five brand new practice questions, plus the few that we sprinkled in from some of the previous five for fives. But people want to know, did you like this group? Not like this group? People, it says $5, but honestly, it's not worth it. It's just uh, spend your $5 on something else. Da -da -da. Honest feedback. It was honestly worth it 100%. Thank you. I'm hoping that you do some of these more more on Saturdays than on Sundays. I'm in church on Sunday at this time, but I enjoyed it. Um, this was helpful for me, um, the way you broke it down. I actually was happy for myself because I got, I missed one this time, missed one. So thank you. No, nah, absolutely. And um, the, the consistency with the questions, and again, it just starts to click after a while. We want to mm -hmm. get in that quality practice. Cause again, oh, I did 50 million today. I mean, cool, but like, did we understand the thought process of why the correct answers were correct and why the incorrect answers were incorrect? And you know, you're seeing that progress. And uh, I know about the, the weekend is only just through the schedule things, but uh, definitely glad you uh, were able to attend this one. And real quick, I just want to add to the one that I've actually missed. I heard you saying when you rushed through it, because literally once I went back and re-looked at it, it just little simple things that you got to pay attention to. Um, even with the, I think the last question you asked was about the choice of uh, checking to see if the young lady was a, a threat um, of being abused or um, the going into the, um, why did some woman do to check the diary, things of that nature. Because I think if the first chance um, answered our question, I, I quickly went to, well, you mentioned about her being 15 and possibly legal. Why woman? Why is she checking the diary? But actually, you want to clear that issue about the DS, the um, sexual abuse thing, and then you can go on down. So it's little little bitty things that you know I tend to kind of miss when I rush. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, I was waiting for everybody else to speak, um, but I, I'm again like this. My I don't know my third month, I think, and. Again, Ray is an angel. This is the best that we have. I wish I could have attended before once I graduated. Um, like I went, I wanted to show to everybody that this really works. It's not, I am not trying to make up anything, but I used to score like 70 to and I brought in, I got here, like, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't think that you see a night. Mm. So I went from a 23 or 22 for a night. And for me, that was great. And I love this. And I love the drive. This is the best inversion uh, for you as a social worker to be able to have knowledge on how to supervise other future social workers to learn about the all the topics uh, this is amazing ray you're an angel you are a really really angel you have place in uh, in my heaven, <laughs> you have a big, big place. And so thank you. No, absolutely. I definitely appreciate that. And I'm glad that you're seeing progress where um, we want to make sure the direction we're going in is in the right direction. Being able to see the changes and the improvement and not just even with the um, exam itself, but more so when we're doing those practice questions where it's like, oh, I noticed that I'm a bit further along where I was day 10 versus day 34, right? We see the progress going. It's easier to break down these questions. Uh, we become more efficient at identifying what we need to know about this question to get the right answer. You've been consistent. You're putting in the work. And um, to anyone listening to this, there are times where the answer is, it could just be a bit more practice, not even so much as oh, like the knowledge and all that, literally just a bit more practice where it's like, ah, I may have missed the exam by this amount, that amount, show yourself grace, 
And especially if you were in a, a, a close window of like only one, two, three, whatever points, um, get, show yourself grace and putting in that practice because to put yourself over the hump, you're right there. So definitely glad you're here, getting value out of it. And you got this. We're all going to pass. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, one last thing that I was going to say, I've been using other programs all this time, but this really like helps you. Like it helps you to really learn. It's not something that you, oh, learn these mnemonics and you're gonna get right the exam. Okay, maybe you do it, maybe it works. Fine, that's perfect. But here is like, it's different. It's like breaking the question, making sense. And now, like, I think that the exam in reality is not trying to trick you but it's trying to help you before i used to believe that oh my god that sound is just trying to like trick you and, and make you don't pass and make you waste money but now i'm trying to see how they think and and yes i am very positive that i'm going to great and even if I don't pass by any points. I'm going to keep trying and I'm going to keep going and I'm not giving up because I really enjoy the classes. And like I said once, I'm going to keep going as much as I can at the classes, even if I get my license. No, if no, <laughs> when I get my license. <laughs> okay. And, uh, I might have something else special for us uh, after we, you know, finish the course and for the next people that uh, um, already passed and everything like that. So yeah, I got something to plan for us. So definitely stick around. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I just want to say, Ray, that I truly, truly appreciate you. I um, truly believe that this is your calling. This is your passion. And I just see so many of your gifts that shine through. Definitely one is teaching and encouragement, and that's something that you do very well. Um, I really appreciate how you break down the questions and how you give us tips, and and most of all, how you always let us know that we got this. So just pretty much, we just have to believe in ourselves, and consistency is definitely the key, and that's what we have to do on our part. So thank you for all that you do. No, absolutely, and I'm glad you're here. And um, like I. This is how I like to learn. Talk to me like I'm four. So it doesn't matter if I'm learning this, learning that, everything, you know, outside of social work, talk to me like I'm four, simplify, organize it for me and say it in a way that it just makes sense for me. And this is what I do for our tribe of being able to like, okay, let's talk to us like a four. Let's break it down, dissect the question so we can see what it really is in this individual form. And then when we bring it together, applying the code of ethics, our role as a social worker in mind, it tends to, we tend to see it in a different light. Um, but that consistency piece you were speaking to, we definitely want to uh, make sure we're doing that because this exam requires a different way of thinking than we're used to. Internship papers from our schooling, social work journey, right? The two a day helps get our mind used to, accom it accommodates what we're not used to going through our schooling or whatnot. So showing ourselves grace, giving ourselves time for all this information to marinate and how we're looking at the questions, how we're breaking down the questions. And again, that consistency is gonna get us there. So it's all good and definitely glad you're here and get value out of your group. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say thank you, Ray. I really think that your teaching style pairs really well. Um, with your sense of humor and it's really helpful. I think I've been able to put down all the extra study stuff that I had and thought I was gonna use that to study. Um, and it's um, also pairs really well with another um, person that has gotten me through through studying and helping me break down the questions and understand better. And I have a very short attention span. So I've definitely been able, even during the evening groups during the week, um, it gets pretty long, but I've been able to hold my attention. Um, and the terms that you use, the words, um, like the literally, that really helps a lot. And I've been using your videos 
and going back to those, those are really helpful. Um, so I'm really um, confident that I will do well in my test. It's my first time testing, um, but I kind of just avoided it um, after I got my master's last year and they never really talked to us about it in school. I had done my bachelor's program and um, went straight through and did my accelerated master's program. And it wasn't until then they said that we would have to do a licensure exam and it was really stressful, but this definitely helped ease that. And it makes you look at the questions a lot differently. No, I definitely appreciate it. And um, as far as the preparation, and if you heard me say this before, of uh, I know now, um, because university have asked me to come and do these uh, study groups and stuff like that. But uh, maybe now, well, now and within the last maybe two, three years, to my knowledge, um, doing more like exam prep and whatnot, but it just simply wasn't like a thing thing. Like it was a thing, but it wasn't a thing. And then we take into account just where the world is going, where before we didn't need this license, but now we kind of need this license to be able to uh, progress in our career um, and to be able to get certain jobs and everything like that. It was always there, but now it's more of an emphasis on it. So um, definitely understand kind of like the, what the heck type of, you know, like uh, aspect behind it and everything. But, you know, you're here now, you're putting in the work. Like you said, you got another program, you're applying to study groups where we have right now. And you know, we're going to keep building off of that. Stay consistent. And it's okay not to know everything. I know you said you didn't take the exam yet, but just for anyone listening, it's okay when taking the exam and it's like, oh, you know what? This recall question, you got me. Or, uh oh, this scenario based question, I thought it was this, I got it wrong, you got me. It's okay not to feel 100% confident. Keep your role as a social worker in mind, which includes the code of ethics and what the question is actually asking and what these answer choices are actually saying. Even if one sounds good, it still could be wrong. Even if one sounds kind of odd, it still could be right. It's just said in a different way than we're used to seeing it. So it's all good and definitely glad you're here and stay consistent. So we got this. Can I add one more thing? Um, I just wanted to add that um, when I was, I think it was like two months before I graduated, that's when they had released the ASWB. I want to say that's when they released the ASWB statistics, or I think it was much more time before that, but it was definitely during my accelerated master's program. And that discouraged a lot of students of color um, that I was going to school with at the time. And that's something that really stuck with me towards the end. And I didn't want to take the exam. And I really had to go back and forth fighting for my accommodations as well. And they just make you go through this long, lengthy process. But um, being able to kind of sit um, in the groups, it helped me more identify what my learning style was and process information differently. So it really helps also that you're giving back to your community in that way. And I will definitely, definitely recommend you to um, other students um, a lot of my um, former classmates really do get discouraged after they took the test for the first time. They don't want to talk about it and they shut down. And I noticed specifically um, the young men that um, didn't pass the exam, they get, I feel like it hurts their pride much more. And like just some of my former classmates just do not want to talk about it. And I try to just encourage them that it's much more um, strategy than I'm um, just thinking it's about everything you learned in your education um, over time. Mm -hmm. no, I definitely appreciate that and ah, that's why I go back to showing ourselves grace. This exam requires a different way of thinking that again if you're in school now now maybe like uh, depending on your university they've brought in people to do study groups and info and whatnot but um is not always like the the majority. So show ourselves grace and it's all good. Consistency. All right, try thank you again for attending today's study group. And you got this. Again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record. Two practice questions a day and one practice exam a month. So we go in there, get our license and continue with our social work journey. We got this. All right, tribe, I'll see you next study group.